E aí, galera, tudo bem? Estamos aqui no DCS World F16 Viper. Essa sequência de vídeos que eu estou postando são dos arquivos lá do canal do Matt Agner, aquele CEO que posta os vídeos acadêmicos do F16 Viper. Até o outono de, desse ano de 2019, ele vai lançar vídeos explicando algumas coisas sobre o F16. Como os vídeos deles são públicos, eu vou reeditar eles e colocar aqui no nosso canal com legendas do YouTube. É, vou colocar a legenda do YouTube lá, vou copiar o vídeo e vou postar aqui no canal. Como os vídeos dele, eu já falei, são públicos, não vai ter problema. E como o meu canal não tem monitoração, ou seja, eu não ganho dinheiro para postar vídeo no YouTube, eu acredito que não vai ter problema. <cười> Mesmo assim, lá no na descrição do vídeo eu vou colocar todos os links dos arquivos original do Matt Egner. F16 Viper, acompanha aí. Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. And a few builds ago, we added some new functionality to the inertial navigation or the INS system of the Viper uh, in regards to the alignment. And it's caused a bit of confusion. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a little video to better explain it. So let's go ahead and uh, start her up. And I'm just using my flow. It may not be 100% correct these days, but it eh, works for me. Okay, waiting for 20%. And off to idle. And if you don't have your INS uh, set up correctly, uh, not only will you not get uh, correct navigation uh, data, uh, but also even HUD alignment and velocity vector and such will be incorrect. So it's very important to have your INS aligned correctly uh, before you taxi out. Okay, drain renders have taken over. Get power going. And we'll set the uh, INS align to normal. And we do that, we have the INS up on the DED. Now note, we have the uh, lat and long, uh, longitude. And right now the latitude is selected, indicated by the uh, bars on the other side. And what, what we're gonna do now is we're going to uh, confirm these for the INS, that those are indeed the coordinates that we are at right now. So for the lat, we'll go ahead and hit enter. And we'll dobber down and we'll go enter again. Now it's really important that you do this within the first two minutes that you start the alignment. Uh, if you do it uh, too long after two minutes, you'll get a uh, degraded alignment and it work, won't work out so well for you. Okay, so we got the alignment going. Uh, we're at 76. Let's go ahead and finish my process. And again, it's just how I personally like to set up my jet. And you know, here on the HUD, you can tell you're uh, not aligned, uh, particularly when you have your uh, stir point diamond here in the middle, and there's no tadpole out there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, time accelerate through this. Uh, 
uh, 50. Forty. You can also do this with a stored alignment, but again, you'll need to make sure that you have your lat and long confirmed. Thirty. And Twenty. Ten. And we have a fra uh, flashing uh, ready, and we also have flashing aligned. I'm going to wait for a full alignment at six. Okay, there we go. So now I'll go back to my I switch and set that to nav. And now you'll see that my stir point marker is um, actually off of the field of view, indicating the direction. Also, we have our tadpole. So our alignment looks correct at this point. So, again, this is how you uh, set up your alignment now on a cold start in the F-16. I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.